Hi Curly Fries and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to do half of my Glade of Trust build. I kind of wanted this build to be a sort of like an abandoned area. Um, so I put my mansion here and you'll see that I also put the Tower of Terror on the other side of it. This build took me a long time to try to figure out. Um, I couldn't figure out what trees I wanted. Um, you'll see I had trouble with the pathing, um, all kinds of stuff. I just, I went back and forth a million times on this build, but it was very fun. Um, I've never made a build like this, so this is my first time trying to do something themed. I love the new trees that we got in A Rift of Time, um, so I'm trying to incorporate those all throughout this biome. Um, once I do the other side too, I'm going to try to keep them incorporated. Um, I'm really sad that we don't have bushes to match these trees. Um, I would love to have like flower bushes with the pink flowers on them to match um, the flowering ancient trees. Um, Right now you're seeing me decorate the pond. I wanted it to be really overgrown since this area is abandoned. I wanted it to look really overgrown. Um, my theory was this was an expensive mansion and very rich people lived here. So that's why I chose to use the stone um, border underneath the house and make sure that the pond is right next to it because I imagine that some rich people lived here and they had to abandon the mansion for some reason. On the other side of the biome I really want to leave a space for Tiana since this biome gives me kind of New Orleans vibes. I am definitely going to leave her a spot on the other side so we can make sure her house has a spot and it will be beautiful and in the correct biome. I'm also hoping that they do Shrek at some point, um, but I'm not going to give him a spot just yet. As you can see, it took me a long time to finish decorating around this pond because in the mud, sometimes it doesn't let you put certain things. So I was trying to work around the areas where I wanted it to be overgrown, but I couldn't put something. So it took me a little bit. Um, on the other side, I made just kind of like a patio. I used some stone benches and the natural rock path to try to make it look a little expensive. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Another thing I wish that we had for this biome was grass that matched this um, glade of trust, which we don't have, which I think is weird, but it would have helped my overgrown look a lot more than just flower bushes and bushes. Um, I thought the beach grass was too green. The meadow grass was purple. I wasn't really going for a purple vibe over here. And the sunlit plateau grass was way too bright so I didn't have any grass to use so I tried to put as much foliage as I could. As I said before you'll see me go back and forth a lot in this build. Um, I just kind of ideas would spark and then I would go change something so if you see me going back and forth that's why. Um, right now I'm starting my curvy path over to the bridge. This is my very first time doing a curvy path, so bear with me. Uh, <laughs> I think it turned out really good, but it took me a while to figure out what I wanted and how to place the flower bushes and things like that. I tried incorporating the Forest of Valor flower bushes and the Glade of Trust regular bushes um, because I wanted this path to be more colors of green than just the Glade of Trust flower bushes. 
and I really liked the Glade of Trust bushes. The color of them matches the grass. And I also used some ferns and some rocks to finish up this path. placement of these bushes and ferns and rocks were so hard for me to figure out. Hopefully when I do the next curvy path it doesn't take me quite as long. I kind of figure out that I don't really like the dwarf bushes because it doesn't cover up the straight lines of the path. Um, the flower bushes are what I like most but they usually work in most biomes. I felt like it was too bright for this biome but I kept it anyway. I recorded most of this video live on stream over on Twitch. Um, if you're interested in seeing me build these biomes live, the Twitch link should be in the description below. I do stream Thursday through Sunday from 6 to 10 p.m. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for being here. We are almost at 30 subscribers and I really appreciate everyone who has come through and commented and uh, gave me critique on my videos. Um, I'm hopefully I will get better. Right now I am going through and finishing putting all the rocks in there just to add a little detail to the overgrown nature of this build. Here I am trying to figure out what it is that I want to put in this small patio that I was trying to create. Um, I never really figured out what to put over here. Um, it is still blank to this day so if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas please let me know in the comments. So yes, I did just delete that entire path that I spent probably an hour making, but I decided that I wanted just the mansion to look expensive and everything around it, um, I wanted to look more natural. So I decided to go with the muddy path instead of the stone path.
I will say it was much easier to put the path down now that the bushes were already there um, so I could hide the harsh lines and things like that because I already had the bushes down. Another thing I learned about myself while building this is I like to put things where I think I want them to go and leave them there for like 20 minutes to see if I actually like the spot that it's in. Um, as you can see I put that tree there on the left and you'll see that I move it later. I was trying to decide if it would kind of tie in with the theme but I decided I didn't like it ultimately. This path that I'm working on, I saw Fleurs make on one of her videos. Um, if you're interested in watching the rest of her channel, she's an awesome creator. I will tag her in the description below. Right here I was wishing that the path would like connect underneath the other path because I wanted the border to be just mud but it didn't work out that way so I kind of just deleted it. I decided to put my Tower of Terror in this biome because it matched my abandoned but also rich kind of vibe with it being a tower um, it also looks very rich <laughs> in the front so it kind of matched my uh, haunted mansion Right here, you can see me going back and forth with some of my decorations. Um, I couldn't figure out really how I wanted the entrance to um, the glade from the beach. So that's why I'm going back and forth through all of these things. In this area back here, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to put like a camp like area or some kind of patio again but I decided just to make it another one of the natural areas um, it kind of adds to the overgrown look of the build
Decorating my rift is probably one of my favorite things. I love a good entrance to a biome. So I wanted to make sure this was felt very overgrown, very like I was covered with trees and grass and bushes. So that's what I'm working on in this build. figure out which lights I wanted to use for this build so I put some torches around my rift just to see how it looks with the lights and you'll see me walk around to turn them on to see how they look I decided to make myself a little crafting and cooking station. I like to have one of these in each of my biomes so I don't have to run back home all the time. So this is where I decided to put it. I love these market stalls that we got in the expansion. This was my first time seeing this lamppost from, I guess it was from the expansion. Um, I loved how it looked against the ancient trees in the market stall. So I decided to use these lamps. I did keep the torches um, in the back of the builds just to add some glowy effect back there. While I was running around turning on the lights, I remembered that I did not finish this part of the build. So I decided just to add some foliage because I still couldn't figure out what I wanted to decorate the patio like. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for continuing to watch my first ever spoo build on YouTube. Um, I am trying to get to 50 followers so I can stream on YouTube. I would appreciate if you could like and subscribe for future content and to help me grow. Thank you so much. realized that I messed up my path and I also did not save enough room so I can make it symmetrical with the tree so I had to move all these things over and fix my path.
I tried this idea again to where it would look like there was gravel and mud all along the path. Um, the gravel didn't really look so nice, so I decided to just go with little mud circles, um, and it looked pretty okay. I wanted it to be a really muddy feel, like, you know, how overgrown swamps are, just muddy and your feet are squishing, so <laughs> I was trying to emulate that. I was kind of struggling here trying to figure out how I would fill this little space in. Um, I don't think I actually figured it out. It's just kind of I put a fern and a few rocks and stuff there. So it turned into a small natural area. Um, I'm just walking around turning on some more lights. You'll also see me walk around to make sure I can reach all of my resources like fishing, the mine um, spot back there, and getting to the bridge. I did a quick um, walk through here just to see if there was anything else I needed to add while I was there. Um, I felt like this area was a little bare. I felt like it needed to be a little more closed in like the rest of the build. So I added some trees around the river and um, just some more natural areas to try to get that closed in feel. I will do a final slower walkthrough so we can see how it turned out and I will turn it to nighttime so we can see how it looks with the lights. Thank you all for watching if you are still here. Um, I can't wait to continue these builds with you and reading your comments has been so inspiring and I can't wait to share more with you guys. Hope you have a great day and I hope you're having fun in the new year and all your dreams and wishes come true this year. Bye, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much.